Welcome once again to our discussions. We are looking at uh, Form 1 Chemistry. And we are going to analyze uh, the given flowchart. Study the scheme below and then use it to answer the questions that follow. The flowchart begins from where we have ion filings plus sulfur powder. The two are heated and substance B is formed. When we are combining iron and sulfur chemically, you get iron sulfide, which is a compound. Then we have iron sulfide or iron 2 sulfide being reacted with dilute hydrochloric acid to form solution X plus gas Z. And when you react iron 2 sulfide with dilute hydrochloric acid, you are going to get iron 2 chloride, which is a solution, plus gas Z, which is hydrogen sulfide. We also have iron filings plus sulfur powder going through step 1 where oxygen is added. Remember, iron will react with oxygen to form iron 2 oxide. Sulfur will react with oxygen to form sulfur 4 oxide gas. Then sulfur 4 oxide gas, you add water, you form sulfuric 4 acid, also known as saliferous acid. Then that saliferous acid will be reacted with oxygen to form sulfuric 6 acid then sulfuric 6 acid is going to be reacted with magnesium in the presence of heat to form magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas remember when acids react with metals they form salts and hydrogen gas is produced in the process we go back to where we started that is iron filings we also have sulfur powder you mix them thoroughly, then you obtain substance A. Remember, substance A is a mixture of iron and sulfur. Then, iron and sulfur are coming down, where the two are separated using a magnet. The simple reason being, iron is magnetic, and therefore it's going to be attracted by the magnet, leaving the sulfur to move down. Then, sulfur is going to be reacted with oxygen, and water to form sulfuric 4 acid which is the same compound that was formed when sulfur uh, when sulfur 4 oxide was dissolved in water forming solution Q then of course that flowchart goes like that now we can uh, try and uh, look at the questions before we answer the given questions let us try and do some of the chemical reactions which are taking place within the flowchart. Here we are going to have uh, iron being reacted with uh, the sulfur to give us iron 2 sulfide which is a solid in this case. Then iron 2 sulfide, which is our substance B, will be reacted with hydrochloric acid to give us iron, will take up the chlorine to give us iron 2 chloride, which is in aqueous form, plus of course hydrogen and sulfur will give us hydrogen sulfide. In this case, this is our solution X, and then of course hydrogen sulfide is our gas Z. We also now move down from where we have ion filings. We have sulfur powder, where ion is going to react with oxygen to give us ion 2 oxide. Then of course sulfur is going to react with oxygen to give us sulfur 4 oxide gas as substance L. 
then that sulfur 4 oxide is going to be dissolved in water to give us H2 then SO3 which is sulfuric 4 acid which is a solution and this is what we are calling solution Q then the sulfuric 4 acid is going to be bubbled in oxygen where sulfuric 6 acid is going to be formed then the sulfuric 6 acid which is solution M is going to react with magnesium plus Mg and this one is going to give us magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen gas then from there we now have our solution add which is magnesium sulfate and gas Y as hydrogen gas we move again uh, I think uh, that is as far as we are concerned in terms of writing uh, the chemical equations let us now answer the questions but a state two differences between substance a and substance B this is a and this is B remember substance a is obtained by mixing ion and sulfur physically meaning a is a mixture a is a mixture then of course B has been formed by chemically combining ion and sulfur to give us a compound B and in this case we can say B is a compound that is one of the differences between the two then of course number two remember the heat energy in forming substance B 